Welcome to the recovery room after our round 11 win against Carlton. I'm joined by Steve Alessio, our football operations manager. And Cess, no major injuries out of the game. We saw Will Hams get crunched uh, late in the game. No, what's the update there? Yeah, great act of courage by Will. Uh, there was a contested ball that needed to be won and he put his body in the line. And that's why he, um, he gets selected in the senior team. Um, but uh, it was a big crunch, uh, but he's come out of it uh, okay. Uh, no damage in terms of bruised ribs or any cracks or anything like that from, a, um, from an injury perspective. And uh, he's trained today and uh, uh, all things going well. He should be right for this weekend. Another man we saw get crunched last week was Courtney Dempsey. Uh, how's he tracking along? Yeah, Courtney's uh, coming along slowly, just uh, making sure that uh, all the I's and T's are dotted and crossed with regards to his recovery. Um, his recovery is a sort of a session by session thing. He'll assess how he's going after each session and build up accordingly. You know, we've got to be careful around when it comes to you know, sort of rib cage and uh, lung area. Um, so uh, we're hopeful that if all goes well, um, he might be a slight chance to play this week, um, but uh, um, we'll see how he goes with training. So if not this week, uh, we've got a bye, and then uh, we'd, we'd uh, probably definitely have him ready for the, after the bye. You spoke about it with Hurls last week, the, the management of players at this time of year. Is that where the bye on the back of it comes into it again? Oh, certainly. I think for all teams, uh, factoring in the bye and how that helps your list and uh, how, it, uh, how you can perhaps, um, guys who might be carrying an injury, um, freshens them up and just gets them back to a point where they uh, yeah, are fit and ready to go. Um, so uh, it's certainly consideration for us with a few of our players. Um, um, also uh, on that, we had Tommy Bell Chambers on the weekend who didn't play. Um, you know, he, he's shouldered a lot of the, uh, the ruck load so far this year. Um, so uh, you know, just giving him that weak spell uh, really freshens them up and um, you know, we've got a whole season, it's a long season, so we've got to manage the group and make sure we're ready to fire um, at the end of the year. On Tom Bell Chambers, there's nothing major there and we'd expect to see him back in the side this week? Yeah, that's right. As I said, uh, yeah, he's being rested, um, yeah, he, he's trained strongly today, um, so really looking forward to, uh, to him putting his hand up and um, yeah, being part of the side once more. Uh, Scott Gumbleton's the other one. He, he missed with an ankle complaint last week. Uh, where's he at in his recovery? Yeah, same thing. It's, uh, it's uh, The ankle's a bit sore, so he's um, taking uh, each session as it comes at the moment. So uh, um, if all goes well, he'll play, but uh, that's one we've just got to assess during the week. So let's hope he gets up. Yes, thanks for your time. Thank you.